In the heart of the Middle East lies Israel, just east of the Mediterranean Sea. There, a conflict of profound historical significance endures. A conflict of two nations, Israel and Palestine. It all began with the Holy Land. In the 17th century BC, three patriarchs of the Jewish people, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, settled in Canaan, later called Israel. In 1000 BC, the Israelite monarchy was established, soon to be ruled by a king known throughout history. King David established Jerusalem as the capital of Israel until tragedy struck. King David's successor, King Solomon, died, and the kingdom was split into Israel in the north and Judah in the south. Jerusalem, however, remained in Judah. After countless conquests from the Roman Empire and other hostile groups, the Jewish population dwindled. The Romans then renamed Judah to crush the last of the Jewish nationalism. The new name given to the land was Palestine. As the Roman Empire came to an end, Christianity rose as the dominant religion. In the seventh century, an Arab conquest brought Islam and the Dome of the Rock to Jerusalem. The city was now the holy city to Jews, Christians and Muslims. The persecution quickly shifted toward Christians as the Seljuk Turks from Central Asia expanded their territory. This prompted retaliation in a series of wars known as the Crusades, killing more Jews in the process. Until World War I, the Holy Land was occupied by Muslims under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. Prior to the war, tens of thousands of European Jews journeyed back to Israel in a Zionist movement. The Great War broke out and Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire forged an alliance against powers like France, Russia, and the UK. The Allies won, and the Ottoman Empire fell. This left the area under British control. Under Britain's Balfour Declaration, a Jewish national homeland was established in 1923. This was until another war broke out, World War II. Fearing persecution in Germany, more Jews traveled to Palestine. They fought not only against the Arabs, but British rule as well. Back in Europe, the Jews faced more tragedy. Nearly six million lost their lives, and much of the rest looked for shelter in Palestine. As Britain withdrew from the war-torn area, the UN proposed the separation of Palestine into a Jewish state and an Arab state, with Jerusalem in an international zone. The problem? Israel consisted of 55% of the land, while Jews only made up 35% of the population. When Israel declared itself an independent state, things got bad. The angered Arabs started the Arab-Israeli War in 1948, uniting Egypt, Jordan, Iraq, Syria and Lebanon in battle to create a unified Arab Palestine. A ceasefire, however, occurred only a year later. On Israel's western border, Egypt occupied the Gaza Strip and to the east, Jordan occupied East Jerusalem and the West Bank. Somehow, Israel retained around two-thirds of historic Palestine. Because of these border shifts, 750,000 Palestinians were expelled from their homeland on the day they call Al-Nakba, or the catastrophe. Fighting ensued for many decades until tensions climaxed in the 60-day war in 1967. Again, Israel fought off the surrounding Arab states and quadrupled in size. Israel conquered the West Bank, Golan Heights, the Gaza Strip, and even the Sinai Peninsula, though it was returned to Egypt in the Israel-Egypt Peace Treaty. The Palestine Liberation Organization was constructed in order to create a liberated Palestine in Israel. The PLO resorted to terrorist attacks until Israel agreed to divide Palestine between them, returning to Palestinians their original territory. But over the years, Israelis had settled in these lands. One accident was all it took. An Israeli Defense Forces truck crashed into two Palestinian vans, killing the occupants. This is known as the First Intifada and sparked a violent uprising beginning in the Jabalia camp. Peace was eventually reached in the Oslo Accords. That is, until the Second Intifada. Future Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon visited the Temple Mount. This greatly offended the Palestinians, seen as a sign of disrespect. Violence continued until Israel withdrew from Gaza. This is where Hamas enters the scene. Hamas is a militant organization 
determined to destroy Israel and establish a Muslim state. Hamas separated from Palestinian authority and found refuge and power in Gaza. In 2007, Israel initiated a blockade around Gaza. Wars broke out in the area through 2014, when Hamas reunited with Palestinian Fatah. In 2018, the U.S. Embassy relocated to Jerusalem, signaling U.S. support for Israel in the eyes of Palestinians. More fighting broke out between Palestine and Israel until a ceasefire was reached. This conflict seemed to reach its end, but recent events have proved that assumption wrong. October 7th, Hamas launched a surprise assault on Israel, massacring hundreds of Israeli citizens, springing the ongoing conflict we are left to deal with. So far, the United States has been working to inspire peace between the nations as Israeli and Gaza airstrikes kill thousands. View our shorts for the latest information and subscribe to our newsletter for extra details.